everybody how are you so you're doing very well um welcome again to our uh, uh chemistry session today inshallah our next one will be a, a review for section number one in chapter 18 the nature of uh, chemical equilibrium so let us uh, try to memorize the most important ideas in this section guys we talked about chemical equilibrium and we say that uh, every reaction actually can proceed in two directions forward direction and reverse direction and we say that all reactions are reversible under certain conditions and then we define chemical equilibrium and we say that um, chemical equilibrium is when the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of uh, reverse reaction and at the same time the concentration of reactant and products remain unchanged remain constant this is uh, an important note guys okay so it's at equilibrium the concentration of uh, reactants and products remain unchanged okay so uh, let us try to answer some questions guys uh, together so uh, in the space provided by the letter of the term or phrase that best completes each statement or best answers uh, each question okay so for question number one a chemical reaction in which products can react to reform reactants is known as what well, guys reforming reaction buffered reaction reversible reaction stoichiometric reaction okay well uh it will be of course c reversible reaction okay so reversible reaction is chemical reaction in which products can react to reform reactants like if we have following reaction a uh plus p will give us c and d so the the products here is c and d c and d can again combine to give us a and b okay so this is what we mean by reversible reaction so for question number two for any reaction at chemical equilibrium the concentrations of products and reactants are equal or change remain unchanged or decrease guys this is uh, we just discussed this point uh, at the beginning of uh, this video so what do you think guys exactly the correct answer will be c remain unchanged guys this is a remarkable uh, uh, property for all reactions at chemical equilibrium that the concentrations of products and reactants be uh, will remain uh, unchanged okay so they will not decrease or increase and they will not uh, be equal okay so let us move to question number three and here uh, a very easy question actually what symbol in a chemical equation indicates equilibrium of course it will be uh, again the answer is c Okay, two arrows pointed uh, in opposite direction. Okay, so so far all the all the answers are C, guys. Okay. So guys, uh, question number four: Which two processes are at equilibrium in a saturated sugar solution? A evaporation and condensation, dissolution and crystallization. Uh, C decomposition and synthesis or ionization and recombination. So, what do you think, guys? Would it happen to sugar in a solution? Of course, it will be B. It will either dissolve or crystallize. Okay. So at the beginning, when you start adding sugar to the to the to the solvent, for example, water, sugar will start to what will dissolve. As you add more and more sugar, the solution will reach uh, 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 a saturation level or a saturation point, and here at this point, sugar will not be able to dissolve and it will start to crystallize. Okay, the opposite 
a process will happen guys crystals particles of sugar will crystallize and what form a precipitate okay so answer for question number four will be b dissolution and a crystallization okay so what about question number five consider the following equation reactants yield products and please like let us uh, uh, pay attention to the arrows here two arrows but they don't have uh, the same uh, length or the same size okay and the two arrows are pointed to opposite direction okay so which statement is correct a the concentration of the reactants here is greater than the concentration of the products at equilibrium what do you think how can we know okay this is an example of static equilibrium it will not be the uh, for sure guys since the arrows are not uh, not have the, uh, the same size okay so we should exclude B guys uh, will be between A or C or maybe it will be both A and C okay let us see so the reverse reaction is favored what do you think guys the reverse reaction is favored actually yes the reverse reaction is favored so guys would the correct answer be D both A and C what do you think guys if the reverse reaction is favored uh, what will happen to the concentration of the reactors? Is it gonna increase or decrease? Exactly, it will increase if the reverse reaction is favored. This means that products, for example, again, let us consider uh, the equation A plus B will give us C and D. So, the products, which is C and D, will combine to give us more A and B. So, C and D will be consumed, their concentration will decrease while concentration of A and B will what will increase so yes A is correct the concentration of the reactants is greater than the concentration of the products at equilibrium and the reverse reaction is perfect as we can see here from the length of uh, the uh, from the uh, the length of the uh, of this arrow guys that is pointing uh, toward the reactants. Okay, so the correct answer <laughs> will be D, both A and C. So, next, guys, question says which processes are taking place in the system represented by the following equation? So, guys, here we have carbon monoxide to moles of carbon monoxide the gaseous state reacting with one mole of oxygen gaseous state as well uh, and yield two uh, moles of carbon dioxide okay and we can see here this reaction is at equilibrium okay since the size of uh, the two arrows are equal okay so uh, guys Again, which processes are taking place in this system? A. Displacement and reduction B. Synthesis and decomposition Ionization and recombination Sublimation and evaporation, guys Easy question, what do you think? Exactly This uh, reaction represents what, guys? Synthesis Here When uh, the carbon monoxide combined with oxygen, it will uh, produce what carbon dioxide so this is synthesis reaction and uh, the opposite and uh, the opposite direction we will have decomposition the reaction guys carbon and uh, uh, dioxide will split to oxygen and carbon monoxide so here the correct answer is the synthesis and decomposition okay So guys, question number seven, very important uh, question before a chemical reaction reaches equilibrium, okay? 
A. The reaction rates of the reactants and products increase. The reaction rate of the reactants increase and the reaction rate of products decreases. The reaction rates of the reactants and products both decrease or the reaction rate of reactants decreases and the reaction rate of the products increases guys here we are comparing between the reaction rate of uh, uh, of the reactants and products and you may remember that we uh, discussed the following diagram guys okay rate comparison for the reaction system remember guys uh, well, you said uh, at the beginning the reaction concerning the following reaction guys or the following equation a and b reacted to give us c and d here we have the reactants and here we have the product so before we reach guys the equilibrium state the forward reaction is when a and b combine to give us c and d so as you can see here it starts from up and then it goes uh, down so as you can see the uh, reaction rate for the forward reaction or for the reactants will what will decrease while the reaction rate for the reverse reaction or for the product which is C and D in this case will increase so again guys before we reach the equilibrium at which forward rea uh, rate uh, equal to the reverse rate or uh, the reactant, uh, the reactants rate equal to the, the product rate. Here, guys, what will happen to the reactant? Uh, the reactants rate will what will uh, decrease, and the products uh, rate and the products formation will what will increase. Okay, until we reach uh, an equal rate for both forward and reverse reverse rate. Okay. And now back to our question. So before a chemical reaction reaches equilibrium, as we said, the uh, reaction rates for reactants A and B will go down to decrease, and reaction rate of product increases until they reach the equilibrium state. So correct answer for question number seven is D. Okay. So question number eight, uh, in the equation for the equilibrium constant of a reaction, we have the equilibrium uh, constant expression, K is equal to concentration of what? Concentration of products over the concentration of reactants, okay? So the concentration of the reactants are represented by what, guys? Easy question. Products concentration of products over concentration of the reactants then the reactants are y and z okay so uh, for eight the correct answer is d okay so question number nine guys the use of the square brackets around the chemical formula implies that the concentration is expressed in which unit guys concentration usually we use which unit guys grams per cubic centimeter or kilograms per deciliter or kilograms per liter or moles per liter of course it will be d guys moles per liter we almost uh, we always express that concentration using molarity which is moles uh, per liter or number of moles and uh, uh, in what or per liter, okay? So, for uh, question number 10, okay, we consider the reaction represented by the equation. Uh, we have the following equation which represents the decompose of Hi to hydrogen and uh, iodine, okay? So guys, at a temperature of 520 uh, degrees Celsius, the equilibrium concentration of Hi is uh, 0.8 0 molarity, H2 is 0 0.010 molarity, and for uh, iodine is 0 0.010 molarity. So what is the K for the reaction, guys? K is equal to the concentration of 
products over the concentration of reactants, okay? And remember the concentration should be related to the power equal to uh, the coefficient of each of these uh, molecules or compounds, okay? So guys, for question number 10, be homework for you. Uh, please do the calculation according to the following equation, okay? Okay. So, uh, actually we have uh, many questions today for you as homework. Okay, so, uh, we have one, two, three slides. Questions from one, two, three, four, five, five questions. And this one, so total six questions. Guys, um, for question number one here, uh, write the equilibrium expression for the following hypothetical equation. Okay, the first one I did for you, you have the answer. For question number two, A, uh, one and two and three, you will just do the same. But you will, what, you will include K and you will use, uh, uh, the molecular formula for this compound, okay? So it will be again K is equal to concentration of products of concentration of reactants raised to the power equal to the coefficient of each of these uh, uh, compounds, okay? Just as I did here, the same will be for two and three concentration of products or concentration of reactants equal K, which is in this case two times ten to negative five. Okay, so question number three. Uh, compare the rates of forward and reverse reactions when equilibrium has been reached. Like already discussed, guys, the rates uh, of forward reaction will be blah blah. Okay. What happens to the concentration of reactants and products when chemical equilibrium has been reached at equilibrium? The concentration of reactants is it more than concentration of products or? less or they are equal or they will not change or what does okay and here we have two problems guys uh, so easy uh, again you need to use uh, k expression k is equal to concentration products over concentration reactants and you will do you will substitute here the values and do your calculation don't forget guys to consider uh, the question number uh, I forget, I mean, to raise um, the concentration to the, the power equal to the coefficients that you have it here in this balanced equation. The same is for question number five. We have already, you have the balanced equation and you have all the values, but here, guys, we have a trick. Okay, and I will not tell you uh, what is the trick here. You should find it by yourself, okay? So that's all for today. Thank you guys and see you inshallah next time.